Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the Universal Team Win Recovery Project um, on any device. And um, sorry, not any device on the HTC One M8. I'll be covering all the methods that will be covered in this thread here at the MickMick.com. And this is developed by Captain Throwback, who is also on the XDA forums. Anyways, uh, before we continue. Um, I'll be covering four, three ways of um, installing the recovery through the hboot method and fastboot method. Those require uh, security off, and the alternate fastboot method, which is security on compatible, which you just flash the image. So anyway, you want to head down to the third post, all the way at the bottom of the third post, and you're going to be seeing the downloads page. Just click on TWRP recovery. 2806 and that should uh, open up a new page on the Android file host actually it would seem like dev host that was the old one strange oh well, anyway once you have downloaded the file just move it over to the desktop and before we uh, continue further you also need to download the ADB files and fastbit files I'll provide a link to those in the description down below. Uh, what you want to do, I'll just move these in for a clearer view. And we're going to be covering the fast boot method, sorry, the H boot method first. This will require your device to have security off. And so to begin, uh, to begin now, we just have to plug in your phone into the computer and wait for it to install drivers if necessary uh, this computer will need to install drivers so I'll probably have to skip ahead to when it does complete the driver installation alrighty now the driver has finished installing you can see the autoplay thingy pop up and we just need to open file to well, Windows Explorer to view the files head over to your external SD card and just snap that to one side and then once you have your zip file there, you need to right click and rename it. So it just shows zero six oh sorry. Rename it so it just shows zero P six B IMG, just like that. And you'll need to copy it to the root of the SD card. So when you drag it over it should say copy to root. If not, make sure it's in an empty space. Since it's only a relatively small file, it should copy in a couple seconds as you can see it's already on the root of the SD card and now all we need to do is go back to our phone and we'll need to reboot our phone into the bootloader and then it'll automatically ask you to flash so unplug any USB cables and hold the power button press turn off now once it's off hold the power and volume down until you get into the fastboot screen and as you can see it's now checking the SD card for a, a zip file to flash uh, press volume up to start the update which indeed will flash the recovery image that's unzipping updating it's okay so that's it um, press the power button to reboot and this will reboot, reboot you back into the system now that the phone is pretty much booted back into the system just go ahead and unlock it and you'll see the uh, autoplay thing pop up again and make sure you delete the um, 0p6b image file from the SD card so it won't try to install it every single time going to the bootloader now we can check to see if we have indeed flashed the Teamwin recovery project recovery onto our device so what we need to do is turn it off and hold power and volume down again to access the bootloader uh, this time it won't ask you to install anything uh, press volume down to select the recovery and press power to select it as you can see it's already changed a little bit and that we're rebooting into the team win recovery project and there we are so that's the first way of doing it the hboot method and now we're going to go over to the fastboot method now to get started for the fastboot method for the security off you'll need to power down your device and unplug any USB cables at the moment and I want you to hold power and volume down to get into the bootloader mode and once it is in the bootloader mode press volume down I mean just press the power button to get into the fastboot USB mode plug it in and 
you may have to wait for drivers to install again. Uh, this computer will have to, so I'll be back when it does finish installing drivers. Alrighty, so now it's finished installing drivers, and you can see how it says Fastboot USB now. You can click close on that uh, driver dialog window, and open up the ADB folder we've downloaded. In the folder, I want you to uh, right shift, right click on an empty space, and it should bring up a contextual menu, and press on open command window here. This will open up a command window with the directory change to where you have specified, in this case, the ADB directory. Now next, what you have to type in is fastboot, OEM, reboot, RUU, and RUU in capitals, press enter, and your phone should reboot into a black screen with a silver HTC logo right in the middle, just like that. Uh, once your phone is in that mode, all you have to type in next is fastboot flash zip, and on the end of zip, I leave a space, and that's when you're going to drag in the zip file that we downloaded earlier onto the command prompt. Once that's done, press enter so it can flash the recovery there. So it looks should look something like this uh, on both the command window and your phone. And once it's at the almost it's almost filled up the green bar, the progress bar, uh, on the command window type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader. And then hit enter and your device should now reboot back into the bootloader with the white screen. And from there you can select HBoot again by using the power button and then wait for this then hit power oh sorry volume down once and hit the recovery menu and your phone now should reboot into the TWRP recovery just like that and voila it has been flashed and now for the third way that is compatible with both S on and S off devices and we're going to be using the fast boot interface alright so let's get started you'll need your phone to be powered down and unplugged for now and all you need to do is hold the power button and volume down so you can reboot into the bootloader once your phone is in the bootloader uh, you should wait for that message to go away and then press the power button to select fastboot and make sure it has been detected so plug it in and it should say fastboot USB if not you may have to wait for drivers to install again anyway so once that is done open up the zip file that you've downloaded with the recovery and extract the recovery.img file just drag it out once that's been extracted you can just close the zip file there and with the adb and fastboot folder uh, using the trick shift right click uh, open a new command window here and type in so now what you want to type is fastboot flash recovery and leave a space on the end of recovery and that's where you're going to drag in the recovery.img file into onto the command prompt and press enter this will flash the recovery to your device and once that's done let's uh, go back to the device here and press on the hboot or select hboot uh, menu wait for this message to disappear uh, scroll down and hit recovery and it should reboot into the TWRP recovery like that just give it a moment and there we go so yep that's it for this rather long tutorial though it is split up into three different sections so it's available for everyone so yeah please feel free to leave a like if this helped you uh, in any way shape or form and all the links will be down below in the description and uh, yeah thanks for watching